and welcome back to Nerdiness 101. Today on the channel I will be reviewing the Doctor Who Christmas special for 2017, Twice Upon a Time, which was also Peter Capaldi's last story. <laughs> Why did you have to go, Peter? <laughs> Sorry about that. As you can see, I'm wearing Peter Capaldi's jacket, which I got for Christmas, um, because this is a special occasion because we're talking about Doctor Who, but I am wearing a Flash t-shirt, so. Anyway, so what did I think of this episode? Honestly, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Uh, it did have a few things that I didn't really like in it, but apart from that, I thought it was really good. Okay, first let's talk about the characters. Obviously, Peter Capaldi once again kills it in his last performance as the Doctor. He has always been great in the role, and here he just took it up a notch because I think he just thought, you know what, this is my final story, better give it my all. And he definitely does give it his all, so, you know, props to him. David Bradley was also really good in this episode, although the first Doctor didn't really feel like the first Doctor because he was, like, because of the sexist remarks mainly uh just because like uh the, the first doctor was never really like that uh he wasn't he was an alien so you know he's obviously and even the doctor said in um world enough and time he said uh he said something about the human obsession of gender or something which you know it's a good point and so why should the first doctor be acting like that he's not a 60s person he's the doctor he's an alien so you know what gives? I do still think he did. He did give a, a really good performance, though. So you know, he was he was very good. Uh, Pearl Mackey was also in this one as Bill. Uh, although I did feel like her appearance was a bit unnecessary, and the whole reason for her coming back was a bit weird. Like, because testimony, they take people who have died, and put their memories in a glass body. So, did Bill die on her adventures with Heather, or did were the memories from? when she died as a Cyberman. I, I don't really get it. But still, she was really good. Mark Gatiss was also in this one as the captain, and he was also a relative of the Brigadier, which, to be honest, I did kind of see coming from that first trailer that was released um, all the way back in August, I think it was. Um, but, you know, I didn't think they would go that route, but they did. And um, even though it was a bit predictable, I, just, I did still like the connection. It was a good, good nod to um, the Brigadier, which... I do quite like. My keyboard's really dusty. Okay, now let's talk about the plot. The plot in this one was a bit weird. Like, I did quite like how testimony weren't a threat. They were just trying to do the right thing. Uh, I did quite like that. I did quite like the Doctor's realisation as well about how it's not a threat. He said, oh, why is it? It's not, it's not a threat. So he doesn't have to do anything. But I did feel like the plot was kind of like a background thing and the main focus should have been the regeneration, but I think it was just there to add a story, which it was a bit unnecessary. It felt a bit unnecessary anyway. Um, I, did, I do still think that the main short story should have been about the first Doctor and the twelfth Doctor like coming to terms with their regeneration and, and having it be more of a character piece rather than a big action-packed spectacular thing which you know it eventually was i did quite like the bit at the end uh about the uh, armistice the christmas armistice um from world war one uh it may have like like it could have come off as a bit insensitive 
but it didn't and I thought they handled it really well. Now let's address the elephant in the room, the regeneration scene. I thought the regeneration scene was handled really really well and the direction by Rachel Talele, I think that's how you say it, was absolutely superb. Uh, and it was great throughout the episode, but it really shined here, uh, especially with those first-person shots of um, 13th Doctor, and um, it just looks uh, really, really amazing. It looked almost like a movie, but I do think it was a bit, like, kind of predictable that the TARDIS was going to explode. I thought I had, like, a, the slightest glimmer of hope that the TARDIS just wouldn't explode just once, but no, because I guess there can't be a regeneration without the TARDIS blowing up, can there? BBC, take notes. Don't have the TARDIS explode every time there's a regeneration. But here's my theory. I think, like, when she hit the button, that was probably, like, a self-destruct button or something, because she completely got flung out of the TARDIS and, like, the time rotor exploded and everything. So, you know, that Doctor was short-lived. I wonder who'd be the next Doctor. Maybe it will be Chris Marshall this time. I also did think the speech by Capaldi was good, but not better than his other speeches, particularly the one from uh, the Zygon two-parter, which I love. I do feel like he did just have to have one more speech, but I feel like it was almost a bit rushed. But Capaldi's action... Uh, Capaldi's action? Capaldi's acting did save it a bit. And his acting in, in his final moments was really good. He acted the hell out of this. Anyway, guys, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Uh, what did you think of Twice Upon a Time? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, it's Connor's video next week. So, you know, I'll see you in two weeks. I hope you had a Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year.